death, old chap, we are going to make you a star. Stick, how very amusing. You kidding? Why would I want a bent stick? If I want anything, I suppose I'll have to talk to Dibula. A colourful local shop. And I've got just enough time to stock up on a few billabongs and get my jumbucks restrung. It's funny, really, how you go thousands of miles and meet someone who sort of reminds you of someone else. Grubs, mate! You what? Grubs! Which of the grubs are bonds of feed? Mmm! You can just smell them on the barbie now, eh? Come on! The cost's only three bits, and at that price, I'm cutting me own didgeridoo! No, look, I don't want to eat any insect lava today, thank you. Could be the mistake of your life, mate. Mmm, mmm, mmm. They're yummy. Ugh. Grubs? Ugh, they smell awful. You'd be really grateful for a feed of these if you were lost in the desert, mate. A good advert for buying a map, I feel. Are you sure you live here? You seem awfully familiar to me. Sure as a platypus is an egg-laying mammal. Now, can I interest you in any quality Dinka merchandise, mate? Picnic hampers? Hats with corks? How's about a nice bent stick? I've got a lovely line in those. No, now look, why don't you sell anything useful? Useful? It's all useful! See? Here, best thing for that? Take a couple of raw insect lovei, cures it like magic. Like magic? Well, if it cures it, it'll be magic. Come on, mate. Two for the price of one. I'm cutting me own bludger. Go away. If you locals are so smart, how come there are no bottles attached to that hat? There were, but the flies have already been and took them. Come on, mate. Two for the price of one. I'm cutting me own bludger. Stop saying that. I'm sure it doesn't mean anything. Ah, sorry. You've worked that out, have you? Yes, we only talk like that when there's foreigners about. The tourist board insists that we maintain the image. In real life, none of us would dream of drinking or swearing or making offensive remarks about women, I assure you. Now then. Where was I? Ah, yes. 
G'day, Dinkum Chunder Struth, I'm worried about Darlene. Yes, yes, very, very bonza. Now, go and be colloquial over there, will you? Stand the flaming crows. Oh, now you've got me doing it. Ah, Bondi. Sam, surf, sun, sand, surf, heat, flies, and a strange, indescribable smell just hovering somewhere at the back of my nose. Just a place where the dead can enjoy life. Odd, there's something strangely hypnotic about those waves. Must be fun dipping in and out of the surf, dodging the broken bottles and old fish hooks, swerving between the sharks. <sighs> Sounds like jolly good fun. I wonder how one would go about it. I'll be seeing you then. Yeah, see you later, mate. The anthill, a marvel of nature. Such complexity, such assured, instinctive engineering. A whole little society blossoming, evolving and growing right here before our wondering little eyes. Now let's go and find a magnifying glass. I'm not picking up ants by hand. Anyway, I'd have to lure them out first. Not a bad idea, but I have to actually get the ants out and into something. The honey may come in handy later. That doesn't need any air added. Just walk there through the sand. It's a mammal. I'm afraid further definition is currently a point of argument. If I must have one of these, then perhaps I should talk to the salesman. 
Well, whatever it is, it seems to be composed mostly of knees. If I must have one of these, then perhaps I should talk to the salesman. The shuddersome thought, of course, is that these creatures actually breed, meaning that something actually finds them attractive. Gerbils always want. Prime racing gerbils rented to you at lowest cost. Gerbils? Those look like camels. No, 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 Offendi. These are gerbils, desert dwelling rodents. Very fine, very cheap. Look, I'm telling you that these are not gerbils. Do these gerbils of yours eat cheese? Run about in little wheels? Make nests out of old tissues and cotton wool? No, Offendi. So what makes you think that these creatures are gerbils? They burrow. Really? All of them? Yes. Well, no. Nah, uh, not all of them. Well, none, really. Right. Well, I might be interested in renting one of the non-burrowing ones, then. Indeed, indeed. Please, feel free to browse. Camels, eh? Where, 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 where? Right, let us for now establish that these are camels. This being so, how much to rent one for a brief journey? Five dinar, Offendi. Hmm. And to buy? Five dinar, Offendi. Why are they the same to rent as to buy? I cannot stand the noise they make as they sit in their wood shavings eating cheese. Now look, I thought we had that settled. Oh, all right. Five dinar, then but only if you invest some of it in professional psychiatric treatment. Very nice. Yes, yes. Nah, I don't like it. Oh no, it's awful. You know what that needs? It needs a good gelding. Quite right. Whip him off and we'll soon see a difference. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. yes. Time was they'd only let real men in here. They'll let any old rubbish in these days. Yes, 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 yes. Mystic temptresses of the East. Not quite as I imagined them, actually. So why do they get such good press? I suppose they must have a good publicity machine. Another shop. Local business must be booming. 